Virginia Satir in action. It, uh, and one thing that's, that's very clear is she has a direction that she's taking with this woman uh, that is not the direction that the, the woman herself might have taken. So she's beginning to, she's trying to open up a different way of responding to the situation. Uh, and talk to us about how she positions herself and the client to maximize the, the client's creativity. That is the client's ability to be able to choose to respond in new ways to a situation where they, uh, where she might initially feel very locked in. Well, one of the things I failed to mention in the beginning is she has a lot of does a lot of with humor. And the patterns of humor are very interesting. The patterns of humor are the, exactly the same as the patterns of reframing. If you look at comic strips or you hear jokes and so on, there's always an expansion of scope or recategorization or, you know, there's a whole bunch of different patterns, about 17 different patterns, which I personally believe are the foundation for all personal change. But, but that's another seminar. Okay. So here she uh, puts her... Uh, puts Linda in uh, confrontation with her mother and has her mother, uh, her mother meaning somebody from the audience. And the mother from the audience points her finger at her and says, you should blah, 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 and you should so and so. And this elicits all sorts of feelings, namely the feelings that she wants to change. It's important to do that for motivation. However, when she uh, is deep in those feelings and she goes, give you a Bronx cheer at the end, uh, you know, this is not a good position to be uh, creative. So she uh, typically would then pop the person out into humor and make some little thing, like she says, I've got the right person and all that, right, in, in this particular clip. Uh -huh. It's sort of, it's a diversion, it's a tangent, it's not really what's going on at the time, but it, it takes her out of the situation so she can kind of look back at it and uh, look at it more creatively. And this was a consistent pattern that she did a lot of times. She'd plunge somebody into an interaction for motivation. She'd take them out of it for uh, being able to look at it in a different way to get a broader perspective and so on. Yeah. Yeah. And then she, she has... So, so yeah, that, that's ver very interesting. And that is that characteristic of intense emotional experience and then this sense of lightness, this sense of being able to, to, to uh, have some distance from it, and this ability to go back and forth to, to these two very different kinds of mind-body states. Right. And this is a way of building choice, because uh, even with this little brief little clip, Linda can't really go back to seeing her mother without the fingers up her, on her forehead. She's literally putting an image into, into her mind such that the next time she thinks of her mother, somewhere in there is going to be this image of her with her, with her, with her horns on. Right. Now this is the kind of thing she was continually doing, of, of amplifying people's perceptions and giving them alternative choices. She was really big on choice. Yeah. And what is the thing she's talking about, about thanking her? She has, an, it's a little garbled because we're getting into it um, without much preamble, about this business of thank her for noticing you. Right. Uh, that that's a that is a a a pattern of uh, satires and a phrase that, that I've heard in the past. T talk tell us a little bit about the way she uses that. This idea of thanking somebody for noticing you, even even someone who you may have a negative response to. Well, it's it was one of her standard reframes, and again, she it was not something that she was brand new that she thought of at the moment. It was something she did a lot. Yeah. But no matter uh, what kind of situation the person's complaining about and whatever horrible happened to them, uh, they, it did mean that the other person was noticing them, which is sort of inescapable. You can't say, no, they didn't notice me. So that, right. that part of it carries a, a sense of truth. And the thanking is, is more, oh, you've got a relationship with this person. 